So this is the first stage of the squirrel uh, painting. Picture supplied by Thelma Weaver with great thanks for this lovely picture. And I've drawn out the squirrel and put in the main lines of where he is and the suggestion of background. Background won't be as important. Mick tucks up some burnt sienna. And what I'm going to do to start with is just put a very pale coat of sienna on all parts of the squirrel. Um, just going round the eye, if we can do that neatly. So this wants to go on as pale as possible. Um, you want to look at it and think, where is it? If you can see it, which at the moment I can, it's probably a little bit dark. So what I'm doing is I'm going to work round from, because I'm left-handed, I'm working from the left to the right, you can work the other way. And I'm going to get the pore filled in. Just checking that I'm getting all of that filled in. And that will catch me up with where I am now. So you don't want to leave uh, a bit undone. So I'm coming across still fractionally on the dark side. Coming here, I'm going to catch up with this little paw, including the nails on the club paw. Just keeping my eye on that while I'm doing this that it's not drying. If it does start to dry, or you feel it might be going to dry, just move it forward a half inch. And then you're going to bring that colour in there. And bring it across. I could have worked with a small, a bigger brush. Uh, the tail touches at this point, so we can catch the tail in as well. And we're just going to do a general edge. I've drawn a sort of fluffy edge on the tail. And again, just keeping that leading edge as short as possible. So as I'm moving over, I'm sure you'll see if I've left any little white gaps. Coming across here. And coming across. Could be working with a bigger brush at this stage, but... And now I'm going to be doing some twiddling, so let's keep it to the fine brush. And there's a gap there. So I'm just being careful I don't lose that gap. I've picked up a hair or something there. Again, don't worry about that. Just keep going. And as I say, this colour wants to be at a level where you look at it and go, where is it? If you've got any excess anywhere, dab on your tissue, lift off. And lift off by moving the brush, the tip of the brush sideways. Don't go in and out. Now I'm just going to try and get that hair out. Yeah. And that can be loud to dry. And that's your first bit.